So after how many weeks? Seven. Seven weeks. Today we're gonna take a test. We will let you know later on what happened. So uh, for the past seven weeks. For the past seven weeks, <laughs> we went back to learning and uh, back to school. <laughs> and uh, as of uh, right now, yeah, right now, few minutes yeah, ago, few minutes ago, we pass a test and we become uh, ham radio technicians. Yeah, we which have is the, the technician, first, the, first the first step to become uh, uh, to be able to use a ham radio legally. Mm -hmm. Will take a couple of uh, weeks probably to to get uh, everything recorded because uh, uh, they have a problem with the uh, website. website, and it's gonna take some time. And then uh, we want to take the general and the extra too, but uh, considering that we never ever ever actually uh, uh, have any idea about the ham radio, the first step was made and uh, now uh, we are going to shop for, for, a, for a ham radio. Ham radio. Yeah. Officially we have the ham radio technician license. license yes. So uh, uh, we are happy. And the last time when I took the test, it was uh, 20 years ago. More so, than 20 years yes. ago, 22 so, years uh, ago, yeah. Now it's a new road for me. I, I have a big list with what I have to do and how many tests I want to I wanna pass and licenses to get. I'm like, uh, I'm going to make a collection. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, look at the view. Yeah. If you turn the camera, you're going to see the view of the map, which is beautiful. Yeah, we have been very busy lately. We didn't have time to to do anything, but we passed the test. hiding from us we left an hours ago we yeah, only stopped more. three times yeah and we have the biggest moon seven more hours to go i should become a truck driver i love it it's 8 36 and we are almost out of south lake we are like six hours away from our destination, destination. Welcome to Arizona, we are in Arizona. We are in Nevada, welcome. Welcome to Nevada. We made it. We made it, but we still have another hour or so to drive. Right. My husband does. It's okay, it's easy. Yeah, look, the first sign. First sign that we are in Nevada is in the casinos. Casino, casino. This is the clue where we're going. We are going to Sin City. Viva Las Vegas! We are close to our destination. That's the main attraction. We are with the window open and we are not cold. There's the polar bear, it's in a cold desert, but yeah. it's warmer than Montana. Anyway, we have arrived yeah. after 17 hours drive total. Yeah, we only had three stops. Oh. 
17? 17 hours, yes. We are here. building show. We just arrived and it's a lot of things going on. We don't know where to look first. We are looking for materials for our cargo, for this floor, and everything from uh, refrigerators to freezers, clothing, to bathroom fixtures, literally everything. Even I saw a truck. I don't know what, what's going on with the truck. It's the first time ever, and uh, we are lost. First time ever here, we are uh, overwhelmed by uh, so many things that we have to see, starting from a fireplace to a wood stove, freezers, uh, breakers for the power, floor, everything basically, showers, stairs. Elevator? Sure. Yeah, an elevator in the house. Cool. This is my new gadget. I'm going to make this one alive. That's so much easier. Cool. Uh, we just found what we need. We need a, a toilet. And we found one for my size. Finally, something that we really want to see. And these are ventless. See, they're ventless right there. They have no vents outside. Indeed, this is something we are interested in because everything on our plumbing has no vents. We have no vents to the roof. That's going to be happening only in between the walls with these new systems. They are having a membrane instead of going out. It is in our morning and we are tired. Now it's afternoon. Today is day two for us, and we find more interesting uh, venues here. They're more about building the house. And Here. We are probably like 15 years later. This is luck. 
now it's over. Now it's still there. One more time, then. Is this a feature of the housing? This is day three for us and we are really tired. The previous two days we walk almost 30,000 steps. And this day we're gonna walk close to another 10. That means within three days we walk around for 40,000 steps. California. <laughs> Especially some veterans yeah, yesterday exactly. yeah. came yeah. and like they were yeah. really into it. Yeah, I like it. Before we moved in our large line, we called this city our home for over 22 years. After 10 months, we have returned for a vacation and we want you to enjoy with us. This is the famous Las Vegas Boulevard and we have lived exactly here for the last two years before we moved in our large line. During the years, we have made many friends and unfortunately we could not see all of them, but 
we have visited the last place we lived and this is the view from it Welcome to Utah. Utah! We spent our entire week in Las Vegas and now it's time to go home. We only ran away because we wanted to see the International Building show and also the weather was better. Now the weather gets for the worst and we must return home because we don't have everything under control. We got snow on the road. And the big trucks and the cars are not ready for the snow probably and uh, all the road it's back up and we are driving with 30 miles an hour it's supposed to be 80 yes and hopefully the weather will get better after we cross these mountains and we never know be yeah, like yeah. this all the way up to Idaho. actually we expect in Pocatello the weather to be the same and we will we are uh, 200 miles away from the weather. This time we made an extra stop for an hour and a half to rest a little bit before the morning. We wanted to be able to drive the intercontinental divide during the daytime because we are expecting a lot of wild animals and for that we must be traveling on daylight. That's where we're heading. So we almost had an elk accident. Oh, yes, uh, here in Montana, I think. There was a dead uh, elk on the road. And uh, it was still dark. Almost hit it. We have arrived home and everything is fine. We had our good neighbors to watch for our house. See you next time.